So in this video, I want to talk about changing the conf emulator configuration uh, on the MSI 8080 emulator here. Right now, the machine's up and running CPM, and I want to change the configuration for entering uh, programs on the front panel. So uh, to do this, let's just get the machine stopped and reset. I'm going to go ahead and power down the emulation. To get into that configuration in the emulation, what you do is you hold the examine switch up, and you reach around behind the ESP32 and next to the little Wi-Fi antenna is a reset button. And you push that reset button and release it and wait a second. And the machine will enter this mode and what you see over here, this little run of LEDs is telling you that it's in configuration mode. And it's showing us the current configuration. So what does this group of LEDs here mean? So I've been working on kind of documenting this for my, myself and these will get shared at some point. So there's really four groups of LEDs across the front. There's a group that aren't used. There's a group that control ROMs on the machine. There's a group that control the CPU. And there's a group that controls uh, wireless and, and logging information. And right now we have those two up. And with those two lit, which would be this state right here, we have ROM1 active in the machine. And it's in the mode where it'll get map at address 001 boot. And that's what's required to get into CPM. And we have uh, a one here, which is unlimited. Am I reading this wrong? We have a zero in this position, so we're going to use the CPU speed from switch six. Switch six here is lit, so we're running at four megahertz. Uh, we have a zero here. We're allowing an, uh, unimplemented opcodes, and then we have this one lit, which is Z80 mode. And that's really this bank of four switches here. And then we have this switch which in my case is a one that just makes us a wireless device in my wireless network. And then there's some switches here to deal with uh, various logging. I want to change this mode to uh, this what I call no ROM Z80. And what that'll do is, is get rid of the ROM, give me a flat 64K of RAM, uh, machine at 4 megahertz, uh, and Z80 mode. So, oh, I'm sorry there, I bumped the camera. It's really hard working around the camera mount here. Oh, that really screwed things up, didn't it? Oh, doggone it. So, uh, let's go ahead and set this configuration. So, we want no ROMs active. I want the CPU speed set from switch 6, and I want it to be 4 megahertz. We're going to allow undocumented opcodes just because we can. We're going to be in Z80 mode, and in my case, I use my machine uh, in STA mode, which is just advice on the, on the internet or on my internal wireless network. So now to make this a new configuration, we need to deposit that value. And you see here that the LEDs changed uh, to indicate that that's now been deposited. We can then power off, won't do anything, but we can now reach back and push reset and reset the machine and give it a minute here. Uh, it should start the web server and everything back up. And hopefully it'll come back to life here and work. Uh, so I'm back over my main PC waiting for the, the web server to come up. And it should be up here in a second. There it is. And we're connected. Uh, so we're back up. So I changed the machine to be in the state I want it to be in. If we want to uh, change it back to CPM mode, we'll demonstrate that. We need to turn the power of the emulation off here. Hold up examine. Go ahead and push that little reset button back here. Oh, I did it wrong. I need to hold up examine and keep holding it and press the reset button and not release till I see the LED start the sequence. And there it is. So let's get it back in CPM mode. So for CPM 2.2 ROM, I need that switch up, which is map the ROM at address zero. I want to use address or ROM number one, which I've got the CPM ROM mapped into. Uh, the switch settings uh, I typically use are these, which is CPU seed set from bit 6. It's going to be 4 megahertz. We're going to allow unused opcodes Z80. And again, I need to set the STA bit. So I'm in, in station mode on my wireless networking. Deposit that. We can go ahead and reset here again. And give the machine a minute to wake up and get the web website back up, or the web server back up. Uh, I'm monitoring the machine. I think it just 
recycled and came up. We're up. I'm at, over here in the interface, like on the TTY. Uh, we're powered off. I need to power the emulation up. I've got a flop, I've got the CPM floppy mounted in drive A, and I know you can't see this, but I can go ahead and hit run. And I've booted back to CPM. Uh, so we'll, I'll, I'll throw up a photo right here and show you the location of that little reset switch on the ESP32 module. It's the little switch next to the Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, I've just kind of learned by feel how to reach around behind the machine and find it. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in front panel mode because I actually want to play with the front panel. Hold examine up. Reset. Keep holding examine up. The LEDs come up. We want no ROM. And what did I decide I wanted here? I want 4 megahertz, allow, yeah, so that's the configuration I want. I deposit that. We see the LEDs change to represent the switches. We push reset. I guess I didn't catch it. Push reset on the back. And there it goes. Uh, give it a second here, it should come back up. I will be making these documents available up in the forum once they've been vetted. I know they're correct. I've got several of these that I've drawn up uh, that I think will be useful. I can see here in, in the in terror term that the machine's coming up. It's serving the web interface and, and there we are uh, ready for us to play with and enter some machine language programs. So uh, I hope this was instructional. A couple of us struggled a bit to figure out how to do this. Uh, don't get confused by the reset switch on the front. It is the reset button on the back of the SP32 that gets you into this mode. And with that, I think I'll wrap this up and we'll talk soon.